much for your purchase of this DIY logo template. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point and I'm just going to show you how to um, edit your logo here on Cordial. So after you receive the link to access and edit your template on the Cordial platform, this is what the screen is going to look like. Um, you open up to this screen over here on the bottom right hand corner, it's going to say layers and that's going to be your layers panel. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And this is going to show all of the layers. So all of the text and all of the graphics or the backgrounds or whatever is included in your logo template will all be found in your layers panel. So go ahead and click on the text and this is where you're going to insert your own business name. So when you select the text from the list, right above it is going to show all of these options and it's going to have the text box right here where you're going to go ahead and type your business name. go ahead and rearrange the text on the canvas and let's see just move it around um, put it wherever you want that's for you to decide how you want it I already have the template um, ready for you so um, yeah you just make it your own add your own flair to it um, but this is how you edit the text really easily um, don't forget to add your tagline if you have one and then you just rearrange your text wherever you want. So whatever looks good for your business name, um, go ahead and do it, girl. It's all yours. And then when you're done, go ahead and save your changes. And then you can also download your files. Um, so you get three different options. You get to download it as a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG file. PDF file is best for print. JPEG is good for web. And PNG is good to... Um, download the transparent version of your logo if you wanted to use it as a watermark and place it over your photos using an app like Canva. In order to download your logo with a transparent background, you would first need to go to this right here, edit background, and select the transparent background box and click save. So that'll change the black background that you just saw. Um, it'll appear white, but when you download it as a PNG file, there won't be any background um, because I do have a background model and this little glow design over here you can go ahead and delete those if you don't want them and if you want just the text for your logo and then you go ahead and download that as a PNG file other than that you can leave all of the settings you can um, keep the background if you wanted your logo to have the black background with you know with all of this design and yeah just be sure to save your changes and whatever you do don't click the revert to original button over here because it will reset the entire template um, unless that's what you're trying to do but while you're saving or downloading um, don't hit this button because it will erase all of your changes and it can't be undone okay so i hope this video helps um, if you have any questions or need any help, please send me a message on Etsy. I am always here and happy to help you. Thank you guys so much.